So find the middle space in your mats. Drop your sweaters. Looks warm in California. Light. It's pretty chilly here in Sydney, though it is beautiful weather. So starting today's class, I'm just going to come down into a nice squatting position like so. So I'm going to get down to a, my knees at 90 degrees. I'm just going to get my forearms and place them on the inside of my knees. And I'm just going to push from side to side. I'm just going to start loosening up the groin area. Also just focusing on getting my breath work in sync with the moves. So I'm just starting off on a slow breath work, letting the body know that I'm going to begin some movements. I am going to start to get a bit of a sweat on. And then just from here, placing my hands on the mat. And from here, I'm just going to use my left leg and I'm just going to kick it through slowly to the side as I point my toes and look in the directions that I'm kicking my leg. From here, I'm going to slowly bring it up, stomp it on the ground, keep my hand on the mat, replace with both hands, take the left hand off this time. I'm going to bring my right leg through in between my left and right arm and fix the other side. Inhale. Bring it back on the exhale. Slowly replace the hand, switch sides. Exhale on the kick through. Inhale, kick through on the other side. Nice and slow. Replace, then from here, I'm just gonna stand up and toss my arms from side to side. Keep my legs slightly bent. I'm going to refrain from my hips moving. I'm going to keep my lower half of my body locked in. Just using my arms to swing from side to side. All the while, I want to try and keep my gaze looking straight ahead. Keep a nice, clean posture. Try and avoid looking down at the ground. From here, I'm just going to kick my legs from side to side and come into like a lunge position as I toss from side to side. Good. And then when everyone's ready, they're gonna finish on their left leg in a lunge position. Like so. Note here, guys, I'm at 90 degrees and 90 degrees here. I shouldn't have too much of a lunge like so. I want to make sure my back leg is at 90 and my front leg is at 90. From here, I'm just going to lower the, left, the right leg down so my knee touches the ground. Good. Actually, I'm switch sides. So from here, I'm going to place down my right hand like so. I'm going to inhale, look up my left. From here, I'm going to stand and close and run my hands along the front of the mat all the way to the opposite side. From here, I'm going to inhale and look up again. I'm going to stand, get my legs nice and straight, run my hands across to the other side. Inhale, look up. Standing up, legs straight, running the hands across the mat. Come to the other side. Inhale, look up. Now from here, guys, you're going to replace the right foot with the right hand. Stand and come into down facing dog. Good. From here, you're just going to do a nice little pedal. Keep the breath work going. Pushing into the hands, getting the hips high, heels up and down, getting a nice stretch in the back of the legs. Good. From here, coming into a plank position. Nice, guys. 
keeping good. Now from here, I'm going to replace the left hand with the left leg. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to come into downward facing dog and then I'm going to shoot the left leg forward. I'm going to replace it. I'm just going to stand like this. My right leg is going to be off the ground. Good. From here, I'm going to shoot and replace the left leg with the left hand. I'm back into downward facing dog. Good. From here, I'm going to switch sides. Good. Shoot it back. Good. Replace the left side. It's for one. Let's do 10. We're going to alternate. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Come back into plate position. Go from here, lower down slowly. Lower the way down. Good. Okay, from here, place keep elbows and hands on the mat. And the elbows and hands on the back, toes are on the ground. Like so from here, I'm just gonna come up onto my left knee and I'm gonna kick my leg, right leg out straight like this. This is the position. So we're just coming to here, great. I'm down onto the mat again. Switch sides. Coming down. Switch sides. Come down, switch sides. Come down. We're all doing that nice and easily. Everyone's looking like doing a great job. Now, if you want to push yourself a little bit, I can come up onto my right leg, kick my left leg out. Then from here, come up to my arms. Come all the way down in one. Good, Salah, great. Repeat, uh, uh, alternate sides. Down. Switch sides. Down. Switch sides. Down. Switch sides. Now, switch sides. Two more. One. Two. Good. Okay, guys. Now, from here, we're going to push up the upward facing dog. Here, round your back out. Sit on the back of the legs. Good. Okay, from here, we're going to pop into surf stance. I'll pop into goofy so I'm facing you. Straight away into here, into surf stance. Nice. Now, from here, I'm going to drop my back leg. So it lands on the ground like so. From here, I'm going to bring my front leg, place it behind me and slowly come down into base position. Good, from here, I'm going to place my hands in front, like so. I'm going to kick the left leg out and come down into lying position. Inhale, come up, upward facing dog, round the back out. Pop in the surf stance, the opposite side. Drop the back leg. Front leg comes around, close down. You want to try not to use the hands. Now I place my hands in front. I'm going to kick the leg out, spin around on the hip, laying on the mat. Upward facing dog, round the back out. Switch sides into your popping position. Drop the back leg down. Front leg comes around, slowly come down. Hands in front, kick down. Okay, so let's do 10. Swapping from side to side. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, around the mat. Pop up, drop the leg down. Front leg comes around. Hands on the mat, 
down. Up and facing dog, round the back out, switch sides. Down, back, all the way down. Inhale, exhale, hop, drop down. Inhale, exhale, hop, down. Inhale, exhale, hop. Inhale, exhale, hop. The back leg down. Inhale, exhale, hop. Back leg down. Front leg around. Inhale, exhale, hop. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, pop. Inhale, exhale, pop. Good, guys. Everyone finishing their lane position. Now, from here, if you're not at the front of your mat, I want everyone to come to the front, but we're going to get to the front like so. So, I'm going to push up about an inch off the ground to here. From here, I want everyone to jump if they can, or they can move from side to side. So one hand moves up, the other move, hand moves up, and you'll move along with your feet like so. We come to the front of our mat. Here, inhale, upward facing dog, round the back out. Here, hands come back to your knees. So, option one, hands at your knees. Step back, like so. If you feel more comfortable, you can pounce back, like so. And if you want to do the number three level, you can pounce, come straight back down to your stomach. So there are our three levels. So it's either step, Pounce or pounce and come down to the chest. Down. Okay, so if we're all at the bottom of the mats down. From here, you're going to push up, step two, three inches, step two, three inches to lion's position. When I'm in lion's position, I'm going to walk to the front of my mat. Pounce back. Push up position, slowly come down. Inhale, upward facing dog, round the back out. Hands, pounce or step back, come down. Push up, step one, two, lions walk to the front of the mat. Pounce, down, inhale, exhale, count. Push, step one, two, lion's walk. Jump, down, inhale, exhale, count, push, step, lion's walk. Jump to plank, come down, inhale, exhale. Hands back to the knees, push, down, push up, step, step, lion's walk. Small steps with the lion's walk. Pounce back to the plank, come down, inhale, exhale, push, down, push up, step, step, walk with the lion. Plank, last one, down, inhale, exhale, push, down, push up, step, step, lion's walk. Back to plank, come down, from here, left leg comes under, standing in the base position. Okay, so left leg is through, 
sorry, our right leg is through, left leg is bent, like so. Draw over here, inhale, come over the front. Should be getting a nice stretch in the glutes here. Come up, everybody, post with your right, stretch your left leg out, all the way to the other side. Good, inhale, come over the front. Walk back, post to the left, kick, get the legs nice and straight. The straighter the legs are, the harder the workout is. Inhale, come over, walk back. From here, we're not gonna post now, so I'm gonna use my arms to spin me around. So I'm gonna spin to this side. So I have to use the hands, good, back. For 10, and here we go, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. From here, we'll do the move once for you. So I'm going to step with the left. The left leg is behind. So it's a similar move up that we were doing after we were popping to our feet. So I'm going to step. Like so, then I'm gonna to come to a squat position. I'm gonna come all the way to the other side, back down. Good guys, I can see everyone doing it, looks great. So again, I'm gonna step directly 44, 45 degrees out from my, the knee that's in front. Step, like so. So let's everyone just do that three times. Come back down, step, one, come down, two, Come down, three. Now from here, everybody come up into a squat position. Switch to the other knee. The other knee goes down. That's it, guys. Then bring the other leg around. Control it as it comes down. Great work, guys. Great. Great. That's looking really good. Making sure everyone has should have a straight line in front of them. So I should be on an angle. I want to make sure that my knee so my knees have a nice straight line. From here, let's post with the left leg. Post. Good, come down. As I exhale, I come up. Inhale, coming down. Slowly control the descent. Post. Good, come all the way down. Last post. Now step, get as low as you can in that squat. Come round to the left knee. All the way around. Good. We're going to do 10 times, five on each side now. Leading with our right leg first. Here we go. Inhale, step, squat, place the other side, down. Ha <laughs> gonna get me confused. All right, step, come up, other side, around. That's it. Yeah, slowly come down. Good. Step. Squat, down, around. Step, squat, down, around. Step, squat, down, around. Nice and smooth. Good, step. Step. Two more. One, two. Good, guys. Great. Okay, from here, right leg shoots around and kicks in front, keeping the right foot off the ground considerably. Chest forward. Here we are in this position here. Good. Good, Salah. Good. Here, post and switch to the other side. Good. Keep that foot nice and high. Post and swing to the other side. Good, here we go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Bring that right leg around. Good. Hands in front. 
push down, pop your feet. Good, making sure I'm in surf stance. Don't want to be too narrow, want enough width. So when I push my knees out, they're directly over my ankles. Shouldn't be like this. You want to be like this, you want to get the knees nice and wide. Okay, we did this at the start of the warm up. We're going to push the pace a little bit in terms of speed. So my hands are going to come down. I'm just going to shimmy from side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good guys. From here, I'm going to spring back into a push-up position. Good. Now I'm going to step with my right foot and bring it next to my elbow almost. Good. From here, my left leg is going to come through again, except I'm going to go high like so, making sure that my hands are supporting my body. Not on one hand anymore, both hands are on the mat. Hips are high, reaching forward. Now I'm going to shoot back, end up in plank position again. Excellent, guys. Step with the left. Slowly shoot through with the right. Both hands on the mat, hips high. From here, shoot back. Good. Switching sides. Step, kick, come back. Switching sides, step, kick, come back. Here we go for 10. Step, kick, back. Step, kick, come back. Make sure the breath work is in sync. So as I step, I'm exhaling. Come back as I inhale. Exhale, step, kick. Back. Step, kick. Back. Step, kick. Come back. Step, kick. Come back. Step. Kick, come back, last two. Step, kick, back. Step, kick, come back. Come down, left leg comes under, back in base position. Diaphragmatic breathing. Inhale through the nose, into the diaphragm, ribcage, chest. Slowly exhale through the mouth. Okay, let's end with a little bit of core workout here. So grab this ball, your Swiss balls. Okay, so this one is a favorite of mine. I think it's one of the better moves that you can do to get a complete workout to action or to stimulate the whole body. We need to be conscious of the process as we need to do when we're surfing. We also need to make sure that everything is switched on to stabilize us. So let's get into a plank position on the ball. So I'm gonna stand up first, put my right foot on the ball like so. This is the easiest way. From here, I'm gonna come down Place my hands in front of me and stretch my right leg out, which is on the ball. Notice the top of the foot's on the ball, not the shin, the top of the foot. From here, I'm going to stand, come into a plank position, making sure that I'm looking down at the mat. Elbows pointed back, lats are switched on, glutes are switched on. From here, I'm just going to roll the ball underneath as I inhale and then exhale back making sure that my hips do not come high as I do this. Inhale, exhale for one, two, three, 
Just go to failure if you can't do the 10. Just make sure that your back stays nice and straight. If you see your back starting to fold into weird positions, stop. Inhale, exhale. Two more. One, two. Coming down to the knee, stepping up. Let's see from here if we can come onto our knees, onto the ball. So, standing position, place my knees on the ball and my hands on the ball at the same time. If you haven't done this, especially if you, this is good to start off with. From here, you're just going to rock forward and rock back onto the toes. Push forward, back onto the toes. If you feel comfortable coming straight up onto the ball, do so. If you want to work your way up, it's fine to do this just to get a bit of an understanding of how unstable the ball is. Then, when you feel confident, come up and stay up. Feel free to roll the ball around, put yourself in a bit of a more intense position. Goal is to be stable and comfortable here. Then from here, once you feel like you are, kind of get to extend one leg. So I'm going to extend your left leg like so. And then bring it back, place it on the ball. Now I'm going to extend the right leg. Place it back. From here, I'm going to just going to take one arm off the ball. Leave both in the knees on the ball. Take one arm off. Bring it back on. Switch sides. Bring it back on. Now, if you can, alternate the arm and leg off at the same time. So, right arm off, left leg off. back on, switch sides. Bring it back on. Now from here, if you can, come up into just a kneeling position only. Make sure the hips are underneath torso, head, torso, hips should all be connected. Bring your arms out wide. If you don't feel comfortable like this, just remain in that kneeling position. If you do feel like coming up, great. And from here, just twist from side to side. Good guys, from here, we're going to do our bottom turn, top turn combo. So I'm going to get down nice and low. I'm going to touch the ground. As I touch the ground, as I'm pretending like I'm almost doing a bottom turn and I'm touching the bottom of the wave, I'm going to come up, extend, exhale, look back. And then return back to my starting position. So I'm going to inhale. As I come down, touch the mat with my left. I'm changing sides now. Exhale, come up, twist, look back, return to base, good, inhale, come down, touch, exhale, looking back, keep going guys. Liz, that's a great, great, great alternative to be doing that, like that, it's really smart, well done. Let's see, Jam. You're on the knees. Good. That's it. Beautiful. Now, as I can see, you're looking forward at the camera, which is fine. It's more challenging to look behind, but essentially that's what you want to do when you're on the wave. You're not looking straight ahead. There you go. Better. Perfect. Nice, Salah. Good to see that you're trying. That's great. Greg, looking solid. 
Make sure that arm doesn't go too high. You want to make sure when your arms come up, guys, that they're in this position here. If I bring that front arm up too high, I have a tendency to fall backwards. So I want to make sure it's a little lower and it helps me with my center of gravity. Good, guys. All right, coming off the ball, finish with some crunches and some breath work. So laying on the mat, right leg over left leg. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Now extend the legs. Do the legs nice and straight. We're going to touch the toes. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reach down in between the knees, pull the legs apart so you're doing splits. Good, reach for the sky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, the new one here, guys. We're going to bend the left leg, keep the right leg straight, fold over. My leg folds over and I'm going to pendulum back up like so. So my right leg flings behind me and I come back to a seated position. Good. Okay, now from here, as I come back up, I simply just extend, extend. Good. Come back down. Legs high. Pull the legs apart. This time, bend the, the right leg. Good. Swing over. Let the left leg touch the ground. Pendulum back up. Good. Swing the right leg in front. Swing the left leg in front. Slowly come down. Bring the legs high. Grab in between. Pull them apart. Bend the left knee. Right leg comes over, touches the ground. Left arm can be placed on the mat as well. The right arm's here. Then pendulum, swing back up. Good. Leg in front. Other leg up. Great. Slowly come down. Left the legs high. Split. Bend the right. Left leg comes over. Pendulum back up. Good. Straighten the front back leg, straighten the front leg. Now from here, stay in this position. Stay in this position. Don't let those legs touch the ground. We're going to clap underneath for one. Straighten and clap. Straighten and clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now from here. Right leg, sorry, right hand to left foot and tap. Switch sides and tap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, you're grabbing an imag imaginary ball. Place it on the left side. Toss it from right to left. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. From here, walk forward to your end of your mat without touching the hands on the ground or the feet. So you're hip to hip moving up the mat. Good, then come back. Good, laying down, keep the feet off the ground. Hands to the side, head on the mat. From here, we're going to lift the mat, the hips high. For one, down, two, down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Good guys. Come around. Inhale. Stretch out that diaphragm. Can we come into some breath work now? So we just did a lot of exterior work to that region, our core area, diaphragm in particular. Now we're going to work the internal organs through some breath work. So Liz and Salah, I'm not too sure if you've done this before. The rest of my team, we're going to do three sets of 30 breaths. So for those who are new, you're only going to focus on exhaling through the nose. You're not going to worry about inhaling. You're going to force the air from your diaphragm through your nose only. Keep the mouth shut. So we're going to do 30 breaths. You're going to use a place, good to place your hand on the diaphragm so you know where you're breathing from. You also just did a lot of work there, so the diaphragm should feel a little tense. So here we go. We're going to do 30 breaths. After you've done 30, inhale diaphragmatically through your nose. Then the only time you're going to exhale through the mouth is on that end of that breath. Then when you've exhaled all the oxygen out, you're going to begin a massage where you suck your diaphragm up underneath your ribs. I'll walk you through it. 30 breaths starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale diaphragmatically only. Slowly exhale through the mouth, very, very slowly. Now I want you to keep breathing out until your stomach feels like it goes like it's gone like a rock. Then when it has, just begin a little massage where you suck your diaphragm up under your ribs and let it go. When you need to inhale diaphragmatically again, the breath of 30. Inhale, slowly exhale through the mouth. Last set. Great session, guys. That was awesome. Special welcome to Liz and Salah. I haven't seen you guys on here before. It's awesome, or maybe I have, but it's been a while. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. It's great to be working out with you guys. Gemma, it looks like you got a new space, which looks awesome. And uh, yeah, if any of you guys have any questions regarding anything, I'm here now, so you can reach out. If not, I'll be back next Monday. No worries, Andre. Thanks for coming, mate. Appreciate it. Liz, Thanks. pleasure. Bye. Jem and Salah, thanks for coming. Greggy, I'll see you soon, mate. See you soon. All right, guys. Hey, Take uh, care. I have a question about the breathing part, Luke, if you got a second. Salah, are you trying to speak to me? Yeah, yeah. I had a question about the breathing part. I, I'm not really sure, like, diaphragm is like... I got my sound down. Here oh, we yeah. go. Yeah. Start so again? again? In, the, in the breathing portion, the breath of fire... Yeah. Am I breathing out of just just below my rib cage? And, exactly, bro. Right. Exactly. And and so then the question I have is once you try and um, roll the stomach. So like if I'm just doing like, like I guess turning sideways. I'm just doing. 
Beautiful. Sucking it in, but I don't yep. know how to like breathe out air into this and then suck it in after that. Cause it's, I guess. Okay. So you're, you're not breathing in air to do oh. it. You're doing it all on an empty stomach. So once you've oh. taken that big inhale and then you slowly exhale through the mouth, you'll feel your stomach go really hard because you're blowing out all the oxygen from the diaphragm. Once you're in that position, then and only then can you start the massage. There you go. Okay. Makes sense. So, okay. and then you're and like, essentially you're holding your breath through that whole massage. Then when you need to inhale diaphragmatically, feel that tank up again, Okay. but don't feel the chest up. Just use the diaphragm. You should feel like it's like, it's expa expanding like a balloon. Yeah. And okay. you should have a really good sort of understanding where that is. Cause we just did a lot of that, those crunches to really focus in on that point. So that's why we do that right before the breath work. Got it. Got it. How'd you like it, mate? It was good, man. Yeah, I've done, I did it a couple times. I think like I did a few of the workout ABC, but it's different when like you're in class and you're like keeping up the pace and like trying. A couple of times I'm like, I'm fucking lost and trying to like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but that I, looks, that was good. That end bit was good what you just did there. Like it's the same thing, Salah. Like when, when we surf, we've, we're doing it under pressure and under pace. Right. When we do the live classes, you're under pace and under pressure to keep up. So you have to be mindful of your mechanics. Right. It's the same thing when we surf. And I'm introducing new mechanics who you've never done before when you surf. And it's the same, sort of the same when we do our land-based training. So there's a strong correlation between a lot of this stuff. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the session, mate. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah. Hopefully it goes, I'll, I'll let you know how tomorrow goes. Thanks to it. So hopefully everything's, everything a thumbs up. So Awesome, mate. So I look forward to seeing you Thursday. Yeah, take care. See you, mate. Bye.